Hey guys, and welcome to River Raven Collects. So obviously my room has had a little bit of an update. We've got new paint on the walls, we've got new carpets, as well as a new bookshelf that is actually housing all of my spawn figures. So we will take a look at that in a bit, but today is quite a special day. Not only is it my 50th video unboxing spawn figures, so technically it's actually my 53rd, but not all of them are spawn figures. So this is actually the 50th video of unboxing just McFarlane figures. But not only that, we have the 10th anniversary spawn that we're gonna be unboxing today. So if you go back and watch, I think the third video I put out, um, this is in there. So I've had this for like over a year. This one is like, the holiest of holy grails, I think. This is the one that I wanted to unbox the most to see what it looks like, and yeah, it just looks like another incredible figure from McFarlane. But I do wanna say a quick thank you to you guys. Uh, you leave me the nicest comments down below, and I really appreciate that. Um, I'm really glad that everybody is enjoying the videos as well. It's really encouraged me to keep making videos and all that. And yeah, I just really appreciate the support. Um, we're currently at 189 subs uh, at this point, the last time I checked uh, filming this. So I just, you know, I appreciate every one of you who's watching my videos. Uh, it really means a lot to me. I never really thought that people would be too interested in these sort of figures and stuff. Um, I just really wanted to make these videos to kind of just document them really, uh, cause they're so old and you know, I wouldn't be unboxing these again, obviously, cause uh, yeah, most of them are around like 20-ish years old. So thought I'd just document it, but I'm really glad that everybody is really enjoying the videos. So big thank you to everybody who, you know, likes my videos, who's subscribed, who's watching these and who leaves me a comment because yeah, I really appreciate the kind words you guys leave me. But anyway, without further ado, let's, uh, let's get the 10th anniversary spawn out of his box as well as check out the new display. All right guys, so this is the new display. As you can see, I've tried to pack in as many as possible. Well, basically the ones that I like. Some of the ones that I don't really like, I haven't put up here. But anyway, let's start with the top shelf. So I've actually got my big box 12 inch figures at the back besides Mandarin Spawn here. I got him out of his box. His box is a bit dinged up now. So I thought we'll just get him out and display him. I'm actually not displaying him with like all of his gear. So his horn on his shoulder I've taken off as well as his swords, like they just the horn gets in the way, he wouldn't be able to hold his arm up like that holding the sword. Um if I had the horn in, because it like yeah, it just gets caught up on everything and the swords like to fall off. So just displaying him like this and you know, he is an absolutely beautiful figure and I kinda like having him up here in the corner, how he's like gazing down at me when I walk in the room, so I think that's pretty cool. Also, we got a bit of a plant. So, this is a fake plant, but apparently these sort of, this sort of green on plants is supposed to make you happy. They uh, did an experiment where they put a bunch of plants into offices and even fake plants increased happiness by 20%, so that's why I've got a plant in here. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we've got Gunslinger Spawn up there. And we've got his six inch counterpart here. Um, yeah, I did actually have them out of their boxes, but I got kind of nowhere to store the boxes. So I thought we would just have them in their boxes for now. And then we've got, I forget what this guy's called, like jumping spawn or something, but he's from issue 43. And we've got his bigger 12 inch in the back. Now that figure is an absolute monster, so I can't really set that one up um, anywhere currently, but yeah, I just got his smaller counterpart here, and yeah, he, he's another incredible figure. We've also got the wool running spawn here, so I'm really happy to have him like right here in the in the corner. Um, this is a really perfect spot to set him up. So as you can see, he looks really cool from this angle. Uh, it's a little disappointing you can't see like the rest of the detail on this thing because we've got like stained glass window and stuff. But anyway, if you display them normally, 
that's kind of what he looks like. So that's not really that good. Um, yeah, he's he's such a weird figure, but you know, from this angle, having him up higher, he actually looks really cool. Like I really, really like this. But anyway, onto the first shelf. So I should say this is all a work in progress. Uh, it's not finished by any means. Still working on the collection and still trying to work out like which figures I want to display and all that. So yeah, we'll start in this corner. We've got all the Mal Bulgers and I forget what this one's called, isn't it? Mutant Spawn or something. Um, but I kind of just, yeah, bunch all the all the monsters together and yeah, you know, they look awesome. So it's really cool having them together like that. Got Crouching Spawn and yeah, his chains are really long so I just have them coming off the edge like that. Got Halloween Spawn up the back. Um, he's like really articulated and it's really strange so he kind of needs to be put up against something to stand up. We got Santa Spawn down the front here and I should say if you're, if you're new here I've actually done a video unboxing each one of these figures so feel free to go watch those leave me a like. We've got Hell Spawn and yeah Hellspawn is probably one of my favourites. Like, I love this huge cape that he's got at the back. And then we've got probably, like, the best figure of all the spawns. Like, this is just... This is what I like to call, like, the default spawn. But by any means, that does not mean that he's just, like, a basic figure. He is another incredible figure. And I feel like that one is just, like, that's the spawn we all think of when we think of spawn. We've got Desiccator here. He's I only put him in here the other day, but he's kind of squished in that corner. I need to get him like a little stand so he stands up a bit higher and everyone can see him. And then we've got the Curse 2 with his little kids here. Really love this figure. Such incredible detail all over him. So I'm kind of glad he's a crouching figure actually so I can have him down the front. And then we've got, I think, one of the first figures I bought and unboxed, which is Medieval Spawn. So, yeah, he's he's really cool. Alright, second shelf. So, like I said, this is a work in progress, and I haven't really set this up completely the way that I want. So, I just kind of had this stuff out. And uh, I should mention as well, like... This isn't really the way that I intended to display all of these. Um, somebody was giving away this bookcase, so got it for free, so I'm like, yep, yeah, I can use that. But anyway, let's start off the back. We've got the only McFarlane Dragons that I've actually unboxed, and he probably needs a stand as well, so we can see him a bit better. But I really like him. I think those figures are incredible. I plan on getting more of them. I don't think the video of that one did too well. I mean... It is just a dragon at the end of the day, but I still want to get the rest of these figures. I think they are really cool. So we've got the Covenant here, and these figures I actually haven't unboxed or made a video on on the channel. They've been in one video, but that is because I bought them and they weren't in box. So I just, I don't really know how to make a video without unboxing them because I just don't think it would be very interesting. But this is the Covenant. He's part of the Viking Spawn series, and yeah, he's just incredible. And the guy that I bought this these guys from, I actually bought, like, majority of my collection from the same guy, and you can just see that, so most of the figures I've seen that are unboxed, they're missing these blades on the side. And these figures are just pristine, like, he's clearly looked after them well, for whatever reason he's had to sell them, but... Yeah, they're just pristine and yeah, just I really appreciate it when people actually look after these figures. Like I do understand that they're not necessarily like adult collection stuff, like they are toys, so some kids get them and beat them up. But we got this guy here, this is Blood Axe, I believe. Could be wrong, but I think it's Blood Axe, and he's on a horse, and yeah, he is a really, really incredible figure. Probably, yeah, one of my favourites. And just the level of detail on him is incredible. Um, I'm looking to display him a bit better so we can see him 
and all that, but this shelf is really a work in progress. Um, so I put these guys all together because they kind of look like they're meant to be together. So as I've been calling this one, we've got Spec Up Spawn. And this figure really like blew me away. I wasn't really expecting too much from it, but man, he is an incredible figure. I'm trying to get a shot of his eyes. I don't think I'm going to get it. So you can actually see that he's got like the spawn eyes in there, which kind of gives him away, which I really like. I think that's really cool. And then we've got like this wool jumping spawn. And as you can see, he's not got his cloak. He's got like a bandana on. He's really cool. Um, unfortunately, there's like a little, there's a gun on the back, so these all like, he's got a ton of guns on his back, but the, uh, every time I move it, there's like a piece of the front gun that breaks off, I don't know if I can get a shot, you can probably see that it's missing there. Um, yeah, I just gave up, I've glued that thing in so many times, and you can't really see it anyway, so I don't really mind, but... Yeah, like, incredible. I love the wall that he's jumping over. Just, like, another incredible figure. Now to one of my favourites. This is Commando Spawn, and man, this is another one that I didn't really expect too much of, but he just blew me away. Such an incredible figure. I really, really like this one. He's probably, like, he'd be in my top five, I reckon. He's such an incredible figure. So, on to some other stuff. We've obviously got the Razor Crest from Mandalorian here. And got Baby Yoda in there. Um, yeah, you know, I collect other things. I love building Lego and, like, Gunpla and all that. Uh, we've got a few other things here. Nothing too... Nothing too noteworthy. But, yeah. So, this actually lights up as well, so I'll show you that. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. But anyway, let's continue down. So this is where it starts getting into like just the storage sort of area. Uh, we've got some Black Series Star Wars figures at the back, and I am gonna unbox these on the channel. Um, unfortunately, I don't, they're definitely not as good as the McFarlane ones, like, nowhere near as good. But we'll unbox these at some point and check them out. Also, got the 2016 spawn, I think. So, unfortunately, I don't really like this one, that's why he's kind of down here at the moment. Um, like, if we if we look at Commando spawn, look at the muscles, like he is just rippling, covered in detail. And then we come down to 2016, just like, yeah, just really plain. Um, his cape really doesn't look alive like on the other ones. Yeah, just, he's not, just not one of my favourites, unfortunately. Alright, and then we've got some Warhammer, so I actually have another channel dedicated to Warhammer. I'll leave a link down below and up the top and you can check it out if you're into that. Uh, I thought I'd just show these off. These are kind of like my favorite ones that I've painted. Put a lot, a lot of hours into these. Uh, really, you know, this is, when I paint Warhammer, I just feel like it's my therapy. Like, it's just so relaxing and I just really enjoy it. So, yeah, check out the other channel if this is something that interests you. Um, yeah, I just, <laughs> I really like painting these. So, I think they've come out, like, alright. <laughs> I'm not the world's best painter, but, yeah, I think they came out alright. So, last shelf here. We've got the Violator. So, obviously, we're gonna look at this guy at some point. Um... I'll just show him to you, actually. So, this is part of the new line. I think he came out in 2020 or 2021. Oh, almost lost him. But I think he's going to be a good figure. If you guys have unboxed him already, if you have him, let me know what you think of him. I think he's going to be awesome. And I love that he's like, he's like this tank now, instead of being like the skinny 
violator that we once knew. So we've got Eurozen versus Spawn up the back. That one is definitely one that I need to display because that is an incredible, incredible figure. Though that one is definitely more of a statue than a figure. Kind of like this one. This is Throne Spawn. I think we're going to be unboxing him next. So if you haven't already, do subscribe. Um, I think Throne Spawn is going to be a uh, merge over to the new stuff. So my plan is we'll unbox this guy and then we'll unbox the 2021 Throne Spawn. I think it's 2021. And anyway, I've just got some books here. We've got some pops. This is actually the first pop that I bought. This is General Ram from Gears of War. Uh, he's one of the convention, like, Comic-Con exclusives. I think he's incredible. Uh, I try not to get into pops, mainly because they're just so expensive. Kind of like the Star Wars Black Series figures. I've not collected those in a while, and I'm not planning on really collecting anymore. They're just, they're too expensive. And, you know, they, these couple, they, they look pretty cool. This is from Dota. But I don't play Dota, I just bought him because he looks cool. With his like fire mace and stuff. So, but yeah, I just, I just think like pops, you can get five of these for a hundred, right? They're all twenty dollars. And I feel like, well, I'd rather just have like an old spawn figure. We've got some Monster Hunter stuff as well. Uh, we've got No Gigante here, and I think it's Glavius, I forget, but then we got the Berserk. <laughs> We got the, uh, yeah, the Deluxe Edition Berserk. I need to get a few more. I've actually read it all already. Um, these ones are just in the packaging because I haven't... I read it online, and when I get around to it, I'll take them out of their packaging, but just thought I'd kind of store them in there for now. Um, yeah, amazing series. Like, best manga ever written, in my opinion. Uh, really sad that the creator has now passed away. That was... Yeah, that was a really sad day. Anyway, let's uh, head over here. So, you've probably seen this in the background. This is one of my... Oh, you can see me in the camera. Hello. Um, this is one of my really prized possessions. The Titanfall statue came with the first Titanfall. Um, I unfortunately didn't play the first one. It was like... It was all online. It was... It came out when... Yeah, I wasn't really playing, like, online stuff, but this is a figure that I probably need to just, like, review on the channel, I think. I should do it at some point. Um, he all lights up and all that. I think, yeah, he's just... Well, obviously, he's just, yeah, an amazing, amazing statue. Um, and, yeah, Titanfall 2, I absolutely love. Um, I got into it really late, so I haven't played all that much of it, but man, what a amazing game. Um, and then, yeah, I've kind of just got some frames here. Uh, this is a movie poster for Nausicaa, and I believe it's in French. Um, yeah, just someone picked this up for me from somewhere, and I thought it was really cool. And then this is just some of my artwork. I also have an art channel. Um, I, I really don't upload it or do much art anymore, unfortunately. Um, it's something that I really want to get back into. And as you can probably tell, like, you know, this is why I'm collecting Spawn figures. I absolutely love, like, the dark, uh, gritty stuff. So, you know, it's right up my alley. Um, I believe I've got a video actually drawing this one so you can check that out if you'd like um, but as I said yeah I really haven't uploaded to that channel for a long long time so we've got all of my other stuff here so this is either figures that I want to get into the shelf or are selling or they're like doubles or whatever got a big rancor here um, yeah I got this Lord of the Rings figure Aragon I'm actually going to sell him. I just thought this is another series I was thinking about getting into, but I got too many other things to collect. <laughs> so I thought I'd just sell him. We're not going to get into that series, but if we have a look on the back, they're kind of like these little play sets. I just think they look really cool, but yeah, I, I'm restricting myself and we're not going to get into this series. 
But that's pretty much everything. Um, all the Warhammer and stuff that was in the background is now over here in the corner. And there's still some figures over there that we are going to unbox, like this Miku, and I think there's another one up there. So yeah, that is basically the update of my room. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this little look. I'm sure most of you probably enjoy looking at the collection as somewhat of a whole now. There's still quite a few that I need to yeah put up here and reorganize and all that. But yeah, I hope you enjoy this look, and now we'll get on to the main event, which is unboxing the Image 10th Anniversary Spawn. So, sit back and enjoy. Alright guys, so, here we've got him, the 10th Anniversary Spawn. So this is actually the 10th Anniversary of Image, I believe, which is the comic book company that McFarlane made after leaving Marvel. So it's their 10th anniversary. And I guess because they started with Spawn in that time that it is Spawn's 10th anniversary as well. So got this lovely art on the side, which is, that looks awesome. And then nothing on the other side, but we've got the other 10th anniversary ones. So I think these are like the other comics he was running as well in his company. Um, and obviously we've got, um, some ones that I'm not familiar with, but they all got their figures, so that's kind of cool. I think it's pretty nice that, yeah, McFarlane's able to produce like his own comic figures. It's really cool. Um, anyway, that's pretty much all there is in the box. We got the stands there that you can see, so looking forward to checking that out. So obviously we've got another one of my dreaded clamshells, though I will make an exception this time because I wanted to open this one uh, so long and it wasn't too tough. So we've got the pullout here and I'm really interested to see what advertising we got on the inside. We got that nice artwork on the inside, I think it looks alright, um, you know it's just the inside so it's never detailed that well. We've got the back which yeah we've already seen. And just those figures again. And let me know if you guys picked up any of these other figures. I actually haven't seen them on the market. So we've got quite a lot of advertising. We obviously got the spawn.com, which you can still check out today. Now this section I am actually going to blur, and I'm sorry if anybody wants to see it. But it is the tortured soul line, and I'm just not comfortable with showing it. If you want to look it up, um, I believe it's in association with Clive Baker, so if you're familiar with any of his work, his game Jericho, or his books, you kind of know uh, what those figures are going to look like. But yeah, sorry again, but I just don't feel comfortable with showing those ones, unfortunately. So yeah, we didn't get to look at the advertising all that much, but back to the main event. So we've got this lovely stand. How cool is that? A little gargoyle with his wings stretched out. Very cool and little places for Spawn to put his feet in. So we've got a bit of tape on the back here and I'm just going to try and get it off. And unfortunately that is leaving a really bad residue. Keep in mind, been on there like 22 years. So yeah, but yeah, a little bit, a little bit disappointing, but yeah. So it's also left its residue on this part which I believe this is just the back, so it's not so bad, but, oh man, yeah, that's why I really don't like tape, also on the back of this one, but yeah, a little unfortunate, but it is just on the back, so probably won't see it anyway, but anyway, let's get Spawn out, so he's got some tape on him as well, unfortunately, but no residue on his little cow cape thing, so that's good. So just going to cut him out. Now look at this zip tie. Can you see if that is holding in anything? I believe it's holding in the plastic after kind of looking at it for a while. But um, yeah, just a really weird one. I haven't seen a zip tie just holding in a bit of plastic and not actually the figure. So yeah, very strange. But thought I'd just point it out. Something unique, I guess, about this box. But we'll clip him anyway, just in case. But here he is, so oh, we've got his chain all wrapped up. And yeah, he's got a really interesting cape and 
very good plastic piece like holding him in there. So let's clip these. And there we have him. So I got that plastic out and he's got a, such an interesting cape like it's all broken up. Also it's got like these very unique like textured lines through it. I really like that. I guess McFarlane wanted to put in like you know as much detail and of course a very long chain which you know I love the real chain so yeah really glad that he was put in this one. Probably could have done with some more chains actually instead of just the one on his belt but yeah we can wrap it around him and all that. Obviously this figure's got a ton of articulation. Unfortunately I'm not going to test it out. Um, this is going to be a video where I don't test out his articulation too much mainly because yeah I you know after the samurai wars and I broke a few this one is one that I'm not willing to break unfortunately but he has a ton of articulation so we'll just put this together very simple this goes in like that so yeah pretty impressive pretty tall as well and now we've got spawn on him so oh that's right I didn't get this foot in so his foot holes are actually in two different spots so the one on the left is at the back of his ankle and then the foot hole on his right is actually in the middle so he kind of stands like a little bit more forward on one foot not really that big a deal but I thought I'd just point it out in case anybody else is struggling with it sure you'll work it out though but man look at this figure what an amazing figure that we have here so I'm just wrapping the trains on like wherever at the moment. Um, yeah, probably don't want to have it around his neck like that. But so this is the other way you can pose him. And you can see that I haven't set him up quite properly. And there is a reason for that. This knee, this lower half knee joint is very stuck and doesn't want to move. And like I said earlier, this is one that I am just not willing to push too far. I want this one to last and yeah I'm just unfortunately not willing to do that but I hope you have better luck if you pick this figure up but anyway guys that's kind of what he looks like from up there I won't be displaying him like that it's too tall but let's get on with the showcase and then I'll be back with my final thoughts Alright guys, that has been our look at the Image 10th Anniversary Spawn. So, I've actually got nothing bad to say about this figure. It is incredible. Obviously, we had tape residue in places, which sucks, and the knee is kind of stuck, but, you know, besides that, this is an incredible figure. This is just everything that you could ask for. We've got the real chain, we've got a lovely cape on him, 
We've got all the articulation that you could want in a figure, as well as somewhere to stand him and place him if you want to have him as a statue. Which, yeah, this is how I'll be displaying him. But, man, what an incredible figure. I think, I think it's a little bit of a shame that it has to be like a 10th anniversary figure. I would love just McFarlane to have done all figures with this sort of love and care and just everything that's here. Um, yeah, this is truly, truly an incredible figure. I think this is like, this is definitely going in my like top list of figures. Uh, this one is just everything that I wanted and yeah, really incredible. Um, I almost regret like the time that he has spent in a box um, since I've had him because yeah, wow, what an incredible figure. So let me know if you guys have this figure or what your thoughts are on him. Um, you know, I love hearing comments from you guys, so leave me something down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Um, yeah, a big thank you to all the subscribers as well. Like, we're so close to 200 now and really, like, yeah, like I said earlier, I just, I really didn't think that too many people would be interested in this. Um, but yeah, thank you for your kind words. Uh, check out my other channels if you want. And uh, if it's your first time here, then please do subscribe. We've still got quite a few Spawn figures to unbox, as well as some anime figures, some other stuff. So please do subscribe, leave me a like on this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.